Now with a very important question. Did you eat yet? That is the title of the new cookbook from Ronnie Wu, a chef who, according to his Instagram profile, loves puppies, traveling, and romantic walks to the fridge. Ronnie, <laughs> welcome to GMA. Hi. Hey. I know Thank we know each other me. through my husband. I know, yeah, I know Ben. I love yes. Ben. Who doesn't love Ben? Who doesn't love Ben? I so know, right? let's make something I know my husband would love because you say that you're an equal opportunity noodle lover. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love all noodles, like, right? But like, one of the ones that get underutilized is the udon. Mm, the like, chewiest, most delicious. Chewy, right? Everyone's cheering for udon. <laughs> yes, Udon. Um, and this one you're making special with a spicy almond pesto. Yeah, spicy almond pesto. And what I love about pesto is everything is interchangeable, right? Mm -hmm. So, Ginger, I'm going to have you do it. So, into the food processor or a blender or even an, an immersion everything? blender. Yeah, put okay. the olive oil. We have the basil. You want to do fresh mm -hmm. basil. Mm, smells so we have good. Some, some almonds. Now, why almonds instead of pine Almonds, because pine nuts are kind of hard to find and kind of expensive and given the inflation and everything. Like, almonds are a great substitute, but use walnuts, cashews, pecans, any kind Anything. of nuts. Yeah. This much garlic? garlic? Yeah. We like it garlicky. It, it cooks down. It cooks down. But you can always, yep, some Parmesan cheese. Right. We're going to add some spinach for extra nutrients. Okay. Salt and yeah, pepper. Get that iron going. And then all you do is you pop the lid on. Okay. And then we're just going to like pulse. Pulse, pulse, pulse. We don't have to do that now. Okay. But like it comes out angry and. Angry about it. <laughs> I'm like, so we have this, right? And it's super fragrant. You can smell it. It's oh delicious. Gosh. What I love about pesto is that you can freeze it. It's mm -hmm. great to have in the fridge because sauces are lifesavers for the week, right? Right. So then I have a chapter in my book called Sexy Sauces because sauces are sexy because they make your life easier. Yeah. You know what I mean? You freeze them, you put them on anything, meat, crudite, anything, and it just saves the day. Freeze them, let them come. And exactly. Then, and then fish sauce. Yes. You're so adding fish sauce to this? Yes, you'll see why. Because it's okay. so delicious. It's like anchovies, right? So if you're Italian, you use like the anchovies, but uh -huh. fish sauce kind of blends in really easily as well. Okay. So it's really, really nice. So what we're going to do is make this spicy almond pesto unon. And again, if you're not fish sauce, don't worry about it. The pesto is going to carry itself through. Okay. Like it's delicious. But I like to add a little. Yeah, exactly. As the oil. I like to add a little bit of fish sauce to add that umami flavor, some mm -hmm. chili flakes for a little bit of spice. It's like very subtle heat, which I really like. I say umami when I want to sound like I cook, but like, what does it mean again? <laughs> umami. It's like a, one of the flavor profiles that's kind of indescribable, but like, mm -hmm. it's just something that makes everything yummy. Okay. You know what I mean? Umami is yummy. I'm probably not describing it well. It's. I don't know what I'm talking it's about. It's earthy, <laughs> yummy. It's earthy, yummy. It's not sweet. It's not salty. It's just this indescribable yumminess, you okay. know, that makes you want more. Okay, so, so you're getting those all we're together. We're gonna heat it up. All you have to do with pesto is just heat it up. Mm -hmm. And then, Ginger, if you could add the udon. Yes, please. You can find oh. this anywhere. Like, it's in, the, get the one that's in the refrigerated section, not mm -hmm. the dry one. Because the okay. dry one is always mediocre. They're so yummy. small. I've done that, and my kids complain every time. They're like, Mom, this isn't yeah, udon. They taste just like, it kind of like mushy pasta, but the <laughs> refrigerated one is. Delicious. Okay, and spinach. So, yeah, and so spinach for adding nutrients. I love nutrients. how you're adding more of that. Yes, right? Yeah, always add kind of vegetable. You don't have spinach, add kale, add arugula, add chard, like anything like that. We're adding extra nutrients because we want this to be yummy and really helpful. The name of your cookbook is Did You Eat Yet? So as we plate this, please tell me why did you eat yet? Why is that the name? Totally. Well, did you eat something my mom always says to me <laughs> if I'm call if she's calling me, <laughs> if I'm like visiting home, she's always like, did you eat yet? She goes, ne sik fan me, which means like, did you eat yet? And so it was always her way of saying she loves me and she mm -hmm. wants to just take care of me. And that's sort of where Grandma the Grandma always said it too. And then you're putting the burrata on top. Burrata is like delicious and creamy. It's going to add a little creamy element to it. I also want to make sure we get to that, the pork. <clears throat> Your mom. Yes, my mom oh, makes I'm going to eat this while you do this. Yes, Tell me about the wonton. I know that this is less scary than people think. Way it's less quite approachable. Scary. And it's like ravioli, but a little bit thinner. Always buy the store-bought one just because uh -huh. it makes it a lot easier. You want to keep it under a, tea, a moist tea towel mm. to keep it moist. And let me just tell how is that? Is it this would be so a easy, hit right? across the and home. And make a big batch of the pesto and just like yes. freeze it and put it in the fridge. Okay, so what you do is start with a wonton wrapper in your hand. Mm -hmm. Put a little bit of that in there. We're doing a fortune teller wrap, which is basically We've all done fortune teller, like that little origami. Uh huh. And then you just kind of like wrap it. Oh. Yeah, you add so a little bit of water to the edges, and then you just kind of pinch it. The key is to just really pinch it. That's Isn't it. it about how much you put in here? No. Too? No, it is. Yeah, you want to put like just maybe like a teaspoon, not too much. Don't overfill it. Yeah. Okay. And then what? something funny thing about my mom is that the, fun, the way she does it, uh -huh. she just puts it around and then she just scrunches it. Just scrunch it. Make like, it like this. Yeah, just make it like Ron, this. It all tastes yeah. the same. Ronnie, thank you so much for coming in. We have a panna cotta recipe too that we're going to have to get on the website because we took a lot of time loving on our yeah. udon. <laughs> I, I hope you did as well. You can get Ronnie's cookbook now. Did You Eat Yet is out now and we've got that QR code for all the recipes. Thank, thank you again. You, oh. Yes.
Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.